the Big Shot birthdays, comedian Joanne Worley. We all remember her. She was with the, she was in Lappin. Uh, she's 84 today. Roger Waters was the Pink Floyd, and then he quit Pink Floyd. And anyway, anyway, he's 76 today. Swoozy Kurtz, she's still on TV. She's 75 today. Comedian actress Jane Curtin, she was on Saturday Night Live. She's 72. Uh, actor James Martin Kelly, he was in Mob City and Magic Mike. 65 years old today. Actor comedian Jeff Foxworthy, you may be a redneck if you knew he was 61. Actor comedian Michael Winslow of Police Academy is 61. Guitarist Pat Watkart, Watkatar. Okay, he was with Aha. Uh -huh. They're a Swiss band. He's a 58. Betsy Russell, uh, she was in Saw. She's 56. Sounds patriotic, doesn't she? Uh, uh, Rosie Perez is 55 today. Macy Gray, whatever happened to Macy? She's 52. Singer C.C. Peniston is 50 years old today. Uh, Dan Danielle Gaither of uh, Mad TV is 49. Actor, uh, actress uh, Justina Justina Machado. She's on uh, Netflix one day at a time. And Jane the Virgin, she's 47. Annika Nani uh, Rose, uh, uh, Princess uh, and the Frog, Dream Girls, she's 47 today. Local birthdays and a winner coming up next. Freedom Fest 2019 was a countywide labor of love presented by FM 107.5 on behalf of the Imperial Chamber of Commerce. Now over 330 volunteers and agencies are responsible for this event's success each year. Freedom Fest 2019 salutes the following community partners for their generous support. CRNR, QT Sanitation, Southwest Security, and KC Rentals. Happy birthdays this morning going out to Albert Platero, Mary Green, Chris M. Alvarado, Albert Rubio, Michael Gonzalez, Roberta Bird, Virginia Yanez, Noah Pipkin, Nicholas Gonzalez, Siloa Duarte, Bobby Valencia, Robert Naungayan, Irene Sandoval, Luis Eduardo Castellanos, Veronica Garibay, Albert Quintero, Bruce Anderholt, Charles Rhodes, Christina Farmer, Cynthia Rodriguez, Diana, Diane Medina, Marco Garcia, Patty Zasueta, Scott Wright, Sebastian Payares. Happy birthday to every single one. Today is Friday. That means we've got some winners. KXO Cold Stone Creamery birthday cake winners for this week. On the AM side, it's Bobby Valencia. On the FM side, the winner's Jennifer Guajardo. Happy birthday and congratulations, Bobby Valencia and Jennifer Guajardo. You are the KXO Cold Stone Creamery birthday cake winners for this week. Enter to win a Cold Stone Creamery ice cream birthday cake. I love cake. Yeah! Oh, yes. Every week, we'll give away a delicious Cold Stone Creamery ice cream birthday cake, and you could win. I think it's time to celebrate! Celebrate! Do you have a birthday? Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Yeah. Then call, email, or regular mail us the date. Include your name, address, and phone number. Every Friday morning, we'll pick a winner for that week. Send us the birthdays of your family, your co-workers, and your friends. We'll put the information in our database, then send them birthday greetings on their special day. And every week, we pick a winner for the Cold Stone Creamery Ice Cream Birthday Cake. Where no matter how you slice it, it's a piece of cake. Let's see who will have their cake and eat it, too. Don't wait. Enter now and get ready to win. Oh, my God, really? That is too cool. On AM 1230. And it's time for the World California News Headlines, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. For sales and service, call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News Special Report. Hurricane Dorian made landfall over Cape Hatteras about an hour and a half ago. It hit as a Category 1 storm with 90-mile-an-hour winds. As the system spins to the north, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper has issued a warning. The danger right now is the rising storm surge of four to seven feet and flash floods as the hurricane churns along the coast. The governor says officials don't know the extent of the damage yet in the Outer Banks. There is significant concern about hundreds of people trapped on Ocracoke Island. There are rescue teams ready as soon as they can get in. This man lives near Wilmington. I like living over here. It's close to everything. It's convenient and my job and stuff, but I won't be coming back here, hopefully, because I don't want to do this another year. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to wake up and water's in my house. CBS News Special Reports. I'm Deborah Rodriguez.
Whatever the weather brings this summer, you can rely on a York Affinity Premium Comfort System to keep your home cool and comfortable. Our new Affinity systems are smarter, more connected, and more efficient than ever before and cut your energy costs by as much as 50%. Call Lock Air Conditioning, your local York dealer, at 760-353-4501. That's 353-4501 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this season. Call now and ask about our 10-year extended labor warranty. Contractors license 696216. Headline news. Less than 10% containment on the Tanaha fire burning in Riverside County. 2,000 acres burned. Several hundred homes still evacuated. Fire efforts slowed by high temperatures. This is a priority fire uh, in Cal Fire right now. And so a lot of the uh, resources that we have are being diverted to come here, especially the air resources. Captain Fernando Herrera with Cal Fire. The owner of the diving boat that burned off Santa Cruz Island, killing 34 people this week is defending the boat's crew. Ben Fritzler says they couldn't have done anything to save the passengers who were sleeping below deck. They did re-enter the vessel from the back of the boat after they swam around it and um, they could not get to firefighting equipment because everything was engulfed. NTSB continuing to investigate. Split verdict in the trial of the two men charged in the deadly ghost ship warehouse fire in Oakland that killed 36 people. Max Harris acquitted and released from custody. A mistrial in the case of Derek Almena. He'll be back in court next month. Jeff Scott, California News. And the CBS uh, World News Roundup, <laughs> the CBS World News and the California News Update, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning. For your air conditioning and sheet metal needs, call Lock Air Conditioning today, 760-353-4501. Be a flu fighter with a free flu shot from Walgreens. It's no cost to you with most insurance. It's quick, easy, with no appointment needed. Plus, it lowers your chances of spreading the flu to the people you care about most. Get your flu shot by September 16th and get a coupon for $5 off an eligible purchase of $15 that day. This is your shot to protect you and the ones you love. Be a flu fighter. Walgreens. Trusted since 1901. Coupon offer not valid in Arkansas, New Jersey, or New York. See coupon for terms and restrictions. Vaccines subject to availability and some restrictions may apply the time to travel and be with the people you care about the most. And at Holiday Inn and Holiday Inn Express, we're helping you be there for less. Save at least 25% at thousands of hotels worldwide if you book by September 24th. You won't want this moment to pass you by. So book today at HolidayInn.com. Terms and conditions apply. And it's time for page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley in Brawley at Highway 86, Julia Drive, and in El Centro on Imperial Avenue right next to Food for Less. With page one of the local news, we go to Gene Brister. Good morning. Good morning, George. Uh, taking a look at the latest in the local news for a Friday morning, a fugitive is returned to the city of Mexicali. George Gale filed the story. Law enforcement in Mexicali were looking for a homicide suspect. At 1 Tuesday morning, a person of interest presented himself for admission into the United States at the Clexco downtown port of entry. The man presented a valid visa to cross the border. The man was identified as 30-year-old Edgar Reynoso Cervantes. He was a match for the homicide suspect wanted in Mexicali. Law enforcement in Mexicali was notified, and they made all the arrangements to pick up the suspect. Suspect was returned and over was turned over to the Mexican authorities to be returned to Mexicali. U.S. Border Patrol officials say this is a great example of the uh, strong working relationships between the Mexican authorities and the El Centro sector Border Patrol. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. El Centro Police, El Centro Fire, and the California Highway Patrol responded to a traffic accident at Imperial Avenue and Elm Streets in El Centro at about 8.38 p.m. Uh, last night. A Yuma High School bus uh, was uh, involved in the accident and several students on the bus were injured and taken to local hospitals. No other details are available at this time. KXO News Time 743. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers for your service needs. Whether it's a lube job, oil and filter change, brake job, battery or wheel balance and alignment, Quick Lane can handle it. And Quick Lane services all makes and all models. Oh, and by the way, you never need an appointment. Tires, all the best brands at the best price, guaranteed. 
See your Quick Lane service advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue in El Centro, right next to Food for Less. Continuing with more local news, uh, Garcia's bills uh, move forward uh, in the legislature for the state of California. Here's more on that story. Assemblyman Eduardo Garcia authored AB 1010 and AB 389. Assemblyman said that with the only a few weeks left of this year's legislative session, he was pleased that the, uh, far, his farm worker and Native American housing initiatives have passed favorably in the Senate Appropriations Committee. They will now go before the Senate for a floor vote. AB 1010 would allow governing bodies of Native American reservations to become eligible applicants uh, to participate in affordable housing programs. AB 389 establishes the Agricultural Working Poor Energy Efficient Housing Program. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. And that will conclude this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two coming up. Page one of the local news has been a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in El Centro on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less and in Brawley on Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Quick Lane services all makes and models and you will never need an appointment. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. And it's page two of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for your life and health insurance needs or retirement planning. With page two of the local news, here again is Gene. Continuing with more local news, a residential fire on Tuesday in Yuma. Here's more on the story. A family was displaced. Family woke up Tuesday to discover their home was on fire. Rural Metro Fire Department responded to the mobile home near uh, County 18th Street and Avenue A. Fire destroyed one mobile home and quickly spread to a second mobile home. Both were owned by the same family. Firefighters uh, spent almost three hours bringing the fire under control. Both mobile homes were completely destroyed, displacing the family of eight. The American Red Cross was assisting the family with clothes, shelter, and other resources. The cause of the fire is under investigation. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. El Centro Police arrested a suspect wanted for robbery, burglary, auto theft, and violation of his parole. 22-year-old Andrew Sanchez of El Centro was spotted about 2 p.m. in the 500 block of Holt Avenue in El Centro. Sanchez uh, fled the area but was located a short time later. He ran from officers but was located again. He attempted to run from the officers one more time but was taken into custody. Among the crimes he is suspected of committing is a recent auto theft in Yuma. Sanchez was uh, turned over to the Imperial County Probation Department. Well, you may have not known it. It is Pedestrian Safety Month. George Gale explains. The El Centro Police Department is participating. The department says that they are working with law enforcement agencies across the state to promote safe behaviors that allow drivers and those on foot to get where they need to go safely. September is Pedestrian Safety Month across the state. It is important because more than and more and more pedestrians are being injured and even killed on the streets and roadways. In 2016, 867 pedestrians were killed and more than 14,000 were injured in California alone. Throughout the month, El Centro Police Department will have additional officers on patrol specifically focused on drivers and pedestrians who violate traffic laws that increase the risk of crashes. The, uh, those uh, violations include speeding, driving or walking distracted and or impaired, failing to stop for signs and not yielding to drivers or pedestrians who have the right of way. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. In an example of how parties from two countries can collaborate to serve the public good and strengthen relations, 
Officials from the Imperial Irrigation District and Mexico's Centro Nacional de Control de Energía uh, gathered uh, yesterday to salute their successful joint U.S.-Mexico partnership. Under an existing presidential permit, the district holds uh, with the U.S. Department of Energy. Since the end of June, IID has implemented a remedial action plan to provide a continuous flow of electrical energy to a growing and underserved region south of the border in Mexicali, Mexico. This requires added capacity to get through the warm summer months. The Imperial Mexicali Valleys are adjacent to and inter uh, dependent upon one another, said Eric Ortega, the IID board president, at an international gathering held in the city of Calexico's council chambers that recognized uh, the partnership. This agreement has allowed us an opportunity to work together to help one another, and it's especially important to me because I represent Division 4 that includes the entire IID service area along the U.S.-Mexico border. We'll be back with a look at the weather. As with most things in life, the key to achieving your long-term objectives is planning. David H. West Insurance has been helping many residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs, from life to Medicare and financial planning, too. David, Jose, and staff are ready to help you with your insurance needs. Call David H. West Insurance today for an appointment at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. Or stop by and commercial in El Centro. Here's uh, George Gale with the weather update. The high temperature yesterday, 107 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 85. National Weather Service says seasonably hot weather will persist into the early part of the weekend before a significant cool down into next week. A weather system will move through uh, the uh, northern part of the region early Sunday, bringing cooler conditions area-wide. An unsettled uh, weather pattern will persist uh, through the uh, first half of next week while temperatures fall to below normal readings. Weather forecast calling for sunny skies today. Highs right near 108. Winds will be calm tonight. Clear skies. Overnight lows around 84. Breezy throughout the night. West wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Sunny on Saturday. Highs right near 109. Breezy throughout the day. West wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday night, clear skies, overnight lows around 77, continued breezy. Sunday, sunny skies, highs right near 104, west winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday night, clear skies, overnight lows around 75, west winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday, sunny skies, highs right near 100, winds will be calm throughout the day on Monday. And right now, we are looking at uh, 86 degrees, 50% your relative humidity. Page 2 of the local news and the weather brought to you this morning by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplement coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. Dad, we're hungry. Siri, restaurants nearby. Here are some options. I want some cheap butler fries. And I want some imperial thick burger. But I want a salad. Okay, I just want a juicy burger and an ice cold beer. And I don't want to miss the game. Everyone quiet, please. I have the place. Burgers and beer. Great food. Ice cold beer and you can watch your favorite game. Burgers and beer is something delicious for everyone. Burgers and beer. The, the best, best burgers, burgers in, in town. town. You're welcome. It, you're, thank you. It's sports time brought to you by Imperial Hardware Company in Brawley, El Centro, and Hodeville. Imperial's Do It Center is where you'll find what you need when you need it. Talking football, high school football. It started this week last night. Uh, Brawley took on Indio and they beat them. Uh, it was the Wildcats uh, uh, defeated Indio 43 to 7 on Thursday night football. Now, Friday night football, there's a full slate of games. Uh, tonight, Calexico takes on Vincent Memorial. Calipat will play at Yuma High School. Uh, Hauteville plays at Desert Mirage in the Coachella Valley. Central will play with the uh, Del Valle Conquistadors. Travel, they left yesterday at the Del Paso, Texas. A game starts at 5.30 this evening. We will have scores and updates during the game and a report after the game. 
Imperial and Gila Ridge play in Imperial. Mickey Dale and George Grijalva will be on KXORadio.com at 6.30 at 6.45 p.m. They'll have all the action live. Uh, John Driffle and Carol Buckley will be at Southwest for the Eagles game against Cebola. Uh, that game is on KXO AM 1230 and on the web, KXORadio.com. NFL got underway yesterday. 2019 season is, is, has begun. Packers beat the Bears 10-3. On the 1230 KXO, we've got, uh, we've got football. We had football last night. It's the Packers game. Uh, Sunday, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New, Orleans, New England Patriots. That'll be at 4.30 p.m. Sunday on KXO AM 1230. Monday night football, Houston takes on New Orleans at 3.30 p.m. on KXO AM 1230. Also Monday, it's the Broncos and the Raiders. Uh, that starts at 6.45 p.m. Uh, you'll hear that one on FM 107.5, your Raiders station for the Imperial Valley. Baseball scores coming right up. Valley summers are hot. But the deals are always cool at Imperial Hardware Company. Visit one of our do-it centers today to experience the difference superior customer service can make. You'll also find great prices and selection on all of your special seasonal needs. We stock a wide variety of fans, AC filters, pool supplies, awnings, coolers, irrigation and plumbing hardware, and so much more. You see, we know exactly what Valley residents are looking for because we're locally owned and family operated, serving this community for over a century. Our do-it centers provide the sweet spot between convenience and selection, combining the value and variety of a warehouse store with the ease of visiting a neighborhood market. And remember, we are open seven days a week. Visit us in Brawley, El Centro, or Holtville to find what you need when you need it. Get it done with a little help from Imperial Hardware Company. And on the baseball scoreboard, the uh, Reds beat the Phillies in 11 innings, 4-3. to three. White Sox over the Indians, 7-1. to one. Tigers beat the Royals, 6-4. to four. Cardinals got by the Giants. In fact, they shut them out, 10 to nothing. It was the Athletics over the Angels, 10 to 6. Marlins got by the Pirates, 10 to 7. Rangers over the Orioles, 3 to 1. Cubs beat the Brewers, 10 to 5. Twins over the Red Sox, 2 to 1. Uh, the Rays beat the Blue Jays, 6 to 4. Braves over the Nationals, 4 to 2. Astros and the Mariners, uh, they went 13 innings. Astros won the game, 11 to 9. In tennis, the U.S. Open, the women's uh, final is all set. It's going to be Serena Williams. Uh, she's going against a 19-year-old Bianca Andreescu of Canada. Uh, Saturday is when that one will play. Men's final will be decided later on today. That's it. That's Sports Time brought to you by the Imperial Hardware Company. Do it centers in El Centro, Hauteville, and Brawley. Get it done with a little help from Imperial Hardware Company. Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full-color brochures, blueprints, and high-speed copies to business forms and everything else in between, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing. Thank you for choosing locally owned and operated Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. We have convenient locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. And we're ready for this morning's financial news and weather with the business report. We go to Dale Howard. Good morning, Dale. In Imperial Valley, this is Dale Howard, financial advisor with LPO Financial with the opening stock market report. U.S. stocks wavered in early trade Friday as investors parsed the details of the latest non-farm payrolls report, which showed the U.S. economy adding a fewer than expected 130,000 new jobs in August. The investors are also looking forward to a speech from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell for clues toward future decisions on interest rate policy. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 59 points to 26,784, while the Standard Poor's 500 Index is adding three points to 2,979, and the NASDAQ Composite retreating six points to, to, to reach 8,111. 
And that's the opening market report. For more information on all your investing needs, call me, Dale Howard, financial advisor with LPO Financial at 344-6002, member FINRA SIPC. The opinions voiced in this material are for informational purpose only and are not intended to provide specific advice. All performance is historical. There's no guarantee of future results. Indices are unmanaged and cannot be invested into directly. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. The high temperature yesterday, 107 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 85. National Weather Service says seasonably hot weather will persist into the early part of the weekend before a significant cool down into next week. Weather system will move through the northern part of the region early on Sunday with cooler conditions area-wide. Unsettled weather pattern will persist through the first half of next week while the temperatures fall to below normal readings. Weather forecast calling for sunny skies today. Highs right near 108. Winds will be calm tonight. Clear skies. Overnight lows around 84. Breezy throughout the night. West wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday, sunny skies. Highs right near 109. Breezy on Saturday. High west wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Increasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. And it is 8 o'clock at KXO El Centro, California. Time for CBS News. Brought to you this morning by Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. CBS News on the Hour. Presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Steve Kathan. North Carolina coast feeling the wrath of Hurricane Dorian. It came ashore a couple of hours ago near Cape Hatteras. It's now beginning its march out to sea. Governor Roy Cooper. There are more than 70 roads that are impassable due to flooding. Or debris. CBS's Omar Villafranca in Kitty Hawk. This is absolutely picked up. We are starting to see some bigger waves crash up here. They're expecting about up to a foot of rain coming in, but the big concern is the storm surge. Farther down the Outer Banks, we could get four to seven feet. This area, two to four feet. The CBS's David Begno, part of a food delivery run in the hurricane-battered Bahamas with Chef Jose Andres. We took off from Nassau with a helicopter full of hope. The first place we landed was Green Turtle Key and the Abaco Islands. It looked as though most every structure was either damaged or destroyed. You need ice, like no, no problem. Ice we need and, 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 stuff. and he didn't just bring food. You asked for it, you got it. From here, the chef headed for Treasure Cave. He landed on a tennis court. The chef walked over to the community center and asked them what they need for this community of about 1,500 people. Were there safety violations aboard that California diving boat that burned and sank? CBS's Steve Futterman. Boats like the Conception are required to have what's known as a roaming night watchman. This is designed to assure that while everyone else is sleeping, at least one crew member is awake. But the LA Times, quoting law enforcement sources, says there was no roaming night watchman the night the fire broke out. And the LA Times reports the owners of the boat say a more than 150-year-old statute should eliminate or lessen their financial liability to victims' families. 34 people died. The government says 130,000 jobs were created last month. Business analyst Jill Schlesinger says it's a modest amount that could help prompt the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates further. This really does build the case for the Federal Reserve that the economy is slowing down. Certainly and the job market is slowing down some. President Trump tweeted another appeal for lower interest rates with a swipe at Fed Chairman Powell today asking, where did I find this guy Jerome? NFL star Drew Brees cut a video to promote a school Bible event. Critics spoke up when it was disseminated by a conservative group that's been viewed as anti-gay. The Saints quarterback released his own video saying he was unaware. I do not support any groups that discriminate um, or that have their own uh, agendas that are trying to um, uh, promote inequality. Wall Street right now, the Dow is up 75 points. This is CBS News. Capital One is reimagining banking, offering accounts with no fees or minimums that can be opened in five minutes. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Capital One N.A., member FDIC. Get what you want from Target today with same-day delivery. We bring it to your front door so you can do more of what you love. 
Want more nap time? We'll bring the diapers and wipes. Want more greatness for your game night? We'll bring the snacks and the cards. One more time around the table, we'll bring that missing ingredient. Maybe some dessert, too. You order, we shop, you keep doing your thing. Try Target same-day delivery. Shop by ship. Restrictions may apply. You may not notice it's a protein bar. Dark chocolate and crunchy peanuts will do that. Plus, they'll get your family moving again. Don't stop moving. Don't stop moving. Nature Valley Peanut Butter Dark Chocolate Protein Bars. You can get the job done or the job done right with Glassdoor. Glassdoor helps you find the best new hires in half the resumes. And they're 30% more likely to stay with your company longer. Hire better, hire faster. Start your free trial today at glassdoor.com slash hire. An important man behind the scenes at a renowned music studio has died. He was one of the studio musicians that Leonard Skinner immortalized in 1974. Many credited Jimmy Johnson with discovering Skinner, but so many artists discovered him in the Swampers. They flocked to Muscle Shoals, Alabama during the 60s and 70s to record there. Johnson played guitar on dozens of hits like this Wilson Pickett classic. Mustang there was respect by Aretha, the Stones, Wild Horses, I'll Take You There by the Staples Singers, Bob Seger's Main Street. Guitarist, engineer, producer Jimmy Johnson of the Swampers was 76. Peter King, CBS News. Actress Carol Lindley has died at 77. She had a prolific career in movies and on TV from the mid-1950s through the 80s. Notable films including The Poseidon Adventure, Steve Kathan, CBS News. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans. 30% of Americans who are planning home improvements of $5,000 or more will pay for those renovations with a high-interest credit card. That may not be a great idea. A better idea may be to take cash out of your home with a Quicken Loans 30-year fixed-rate mortgage. The rate today on our 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is 4.125%. APR, 4.22%. Call us today at 800-QUICKEN or go to rocketmortgage.com. Rate subject to change. 8.88% fee to receive this discounted rate. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. There's nothing like meeting face-to-face, -face, and there's nothing like Zoom to make that happen. Zoom lets you connect and do business across town or around the world. Zoom ties together all of your communication needs into one easy platform for video conferencing, phone calls, group chat, webinars, and your conference rooms. Connect easily from anywhere, your mobile phone, your laptop, or conference room. Zoom is how business gets done. Get your free account at Zoom.com today. Meet happy with Zoom. At IVEDC, our mission is to help grow the Imperial Valley economy by aggressively marketing the valley to attract industries that create jobs and raise the local standard of living. We have had considerable success with the renewable energy industry. And due to these efforts, local businesses have benefited and jobs have been created. The Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation is continuing our efforts to grow the local economy with new businesses and new jobs. That means a better way of life for our valley. And your CBS News has been a service of the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It is all here. You've got George Gale. I'm sexy and I know it. Oh, cool. The best oldies on the radio. 1230.